Hello, everybody. We are live on YouTube. How's it going? Uh, well, we're live as of right this moment, which is 1.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time on the 28th day of March here in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, those of you joining, how you doing? Those of you maybe watching later, hey, <laughs> um, I am um, going to kind of refer back to the last video I did, which was the Yabo of this pipe right here. This is the uh, new, new old wood Briarville pipe. Uh, Rick Farrow, my brother-in-law down at Briarville, he does uh, pipe repair and restoration. Got uh, got a hold of some old wood shaped pipes unfinished and he was able to finish them up put a stem on them put his stamping his new stamping on them and uh, it has them available at a very good price you can go to briarville.com and see more they get uh, he's got some different styles of this shape uh, whether it's all smooth or some rusticated or whatever and i thought what i would do is uh give it a little light up i'm uh actually going to get into some good tobacco here from my friends at uptowns and just gonna look. oh by the way i did oh i already put the tobacco in here but well, maybe you can see around the around the edges there it did come smooth on the inside no bowl coat i bowl coated it because I prefer it that way. That way I don't have to do as big a break-in process. For me, for me, I like it that way. Some folks don't uh, don't care whether they're bowl coated or not. But I uh, thought I would uh, light it up live here. I don't know if Rick is uh, watching from his home base in Palm Harbor, Florida or not. Somebody send him a text and tell him he needs to be watching live. <laughs> Oh, this is Blue Ridge tobacco. It's a Virginia's blend. And the draw on this is very good. Very good. In my initial lighting, and now I'm gonna tamp it down a little bit and light her again. Yeah. I would say this is a very good smoke, smoking pipe. Very good. Yeah, Rick, if you be watching, good job on these. Um, the, if, you, if you want the whole story behind these particular pipes, uh, go to Briarville.com. He's, he's got information on there. And now that I'm uh, all in this, I'm just trying to check. Uh, it's a sharp pipe. Uh, Elwood, how you doing? Thank you. Well, Rick thanks you. <laughs> what else is happening out there? Few of you who are watching live, feel free to shoot a question or two. By the way, in case you're wondering, right over right over here, that uh, doesn't have anything to do with pipes. That's a golf club regripping station. <laughs> I uh, I play a lot of uh, a lot of golf, and I regrip my own clubs. Uh, here the pipe vlogger. Hey, pipe vlogger, what's going on? You need a need a need a vlog about Rick's pipes. You can vlog about my pipes too if you want. <laughs> but I thought I would give the old brother-in-law some some street cred here by showing this all the way from the island of Malta. Oh yeah, very cool. It's amazing how social media 
and the internet and, and what have you has made the world a lot smaller place than it was just when I was growing up. You know, you, you thought of, you, I never dreamed I could sit here and be talking. Thank you for loving my pipes, appreciate it. Uh, I never dreamed I'd be sitting here talking to somebody on the island of Malta on the internet. From Luxembourg, hey, see us international. Yeah, this is a this is a, a Briarville pipe. Been following a long time. Great, thank you, thank you very much. And of course, I've been sitting here talking instead of smoking, so I'll probably have to relight frequently that I wouldn't normally have to do if I weren't sitting here talking so much. It's got a wonderful draft. Hey, Victoria, BC. See, again, all around the world. Hey guys, just so you know, uh, I've still got 30% off my pipes on my website, custom made for you. You can check it out, joecasepipes.com. You can go there and uh, I'm gonna be working on one this afternoon. I think I'm gonna be working on a, on a Devil Ants. for a guy named Craig. And actually, um, I don't have anything it's really gonna look like, but it's gonna be more of a, a brown finish. And it'll look really cool. Hey folks, all you folks joining, Feel free to throw a comment on there. I'm live right now at uh, 1.37 p.m. Central Daylight Time on March 28th. If you're watching this back later, of course, it, it's not live if you're watching it back later. Makes a lot of sense, huh? Uh, what are you smoking? I am smoking uh, the pipe itself is a new Briarville pipe. It was what's called a new old pipe. Uh, my brother-in-law, Rick, at Briarville Pipe Restoration and Repair got a hold of a stash of old wood, old briar uh, pipes that were already uh, shaped, and he took them, added stems, did the finish on them and rustication, or in some cases, all smooth finishes, and he's got these for sale. They've ne never been smoked at all. Got them for sale on his website at briarville.com. And you can see the whole story behind what it's meant by the old wood um, there. And I just uh, was promised him I would smoke one here. Hey, Kirk from Florida. Mm. Uh, smoking some Peter Heinrich. Oh, very cool. I think, uh, don't go away. Look what I've got right there. Ha ha ha. Um, yeah, uh, price range for the pipes, um, um, <laughs> I, I don't know exactly. Uh, go to the website, they're very, they're, 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 they're less expensive than my pipes, uh, but mine are custom made for you. But um, um, yeah, they're, they're very, from what I understand that he was going to, to uh, ask for them, extremely reasonable. Um, so, I mean, they're, they're not, uh, I'm pretty sure they're less than 150, maybe 120, maybe 100, somewhere, somewhere in there. So uh, they're they're uh, very reasonable, and I can tell, I can attest to it right now. Very good smoking pipe. Very good. Great draw on it. Smoking Blue Ridge, of uh, Virginia's tobacco. Just shared this live video in my club, Malta Pipe Club. Hello, everybody in the Malta Pipe Club. Yeah, Blue Ridge Tobacco. There's that right there. You can see the Victor Virginia's. It's available. It's a blend that's available at um, Uptown's Pipe Shop here in Nashville, Tennessee. I think, uh, I'm not sure... I believe they blend it, but anyway, and they sell online at uh, Uptown's, just to Google, you can just go to Google and Google Uptown's Pipe Shop, Nashville, Tennessee, and and uh, they do 
a lot. They've got, they sell pipes, they sell cigars, they sell pipe tobacco, all kinds of pipe tobacco. Hmm. But this is really cool. I don't know if any of you just sitting here, uh, is pipe carving your full-time gig? Uh, it's my main gig. Uh, I'll put it to you that way. Uh, I just, just was getting ready to say I'm also incorporating uh, turning some uh, knife beads. If anybody knows what knife beads are, um, people who carry knives usually have these leather straps on them and they put these decorative uh, turned... Uh, they could be wood, they could be metal, they could be acrylic, they could be any different thing uh, on there. And I'm uh, starting to make some of those. And those will be going to market as well. So, busy guy. Lanyards, yeah, like that. Hello from Hello Liverpool, how are you? My goodness, this is just a thrill talking to people from all over the world, just sitting here in good old Nashville, Tennessee. Which has grown so much. Uh, uh, sorry, I have to get up here close so I can read. Oh, Nashville, here you got a guy. Check out Sturgill Simpson. Great country music contemporary. Okay. Derek's Pipes, what's up? For those of you just joining... I'm smoking one of the new Briarville pipes here that uh, my brother-in-law Rick has on his website, briarville.com. He, Briarville is a pi Briarville pipe restoration and repair. Best in the country, I believe. Um, and he got a hold of some old Briar, uh, you know, stumbles here that had basically, this is what he got unfinished and he's finished them and uh in some cases did some rustication on them like this one he uh, puts a stem on them and uh he's gone out and had himself a a stamping made there but with a b there that's really cool so and they're very reasonably priced you can check them out at briarville.com i'm not getting a i'm not getting a, a percentage to send you over there i got a free pipe out of the deal <laughs> Somebody should uh, contact Rick at Briarville.com, R-I-C at Briarville.com, and, and say, hey, your brother-in-law is on YouTube smoking your pipe right now, live. Hey, Joe, long time fan. Great to see you. Is there a particular drilling? Ugh, the thing goes away before. Okay. Is there a particular drilling you prefer with your pipes? So when you say particular drilling, um... Clar clarify that a little bit. I mean, as far as drilling is concerned, I have a standard drilling that, that I do. It's not, uh, I wouldn't call it a secret, but it's, uh, what's that word that you use when it's uh, kind of a proprietary, if you will? I figured out what the, the best size is. I want my pipes. When you order one from me, you're going to get a pipe that's got a really good draw. And if you if you really lay back on, on one, you're gonna get a mouthful of smoke. <laughs> uh, mine, you know, is made so you can either sip it or get a good draw on it or whatever. It's not one of those where you have to turn blue in the face and trying to get a puff out of it. Um, I've, I've done that, that way and, and the, uh, literally in the thousands now of pipes uh, around the world, uh, I get uh, great compliments on them. So, and if you guys are in the market for a custom pipe, and what I mean by custom pipe, simply is this. You go to my website, joecasepipes.com, and then you go to click, to click on, the, on the upper part that says click here to order a custom pipe. You go there and, and it takes you to my order page. Proprietary, gotcha, yeah. Uh, it, uh, to, uh, my, you can see the pipes that I have. They're not available. These are just suggestions of, of pipes, you know, like you know, the name of them, the Smoky Hollow or, or, you know, whatever, the Mad Hatter or whatever. 
But what you could do by looking at that is go, hey, can you do that in black instead of the brown? Can you do uh, the, the rustication on this one that you did on this one? Or can you uh, do a stem? Can you do a black stem instead of the red stem? Or you know, vice versa. You can change it up, and we can we can make what you want so it's made for you. And uh, by the way, I can even put your initials on there. I can stamp your initials on there under right under where I put my stamp. Uh, like, let's see, where's uh, my pipes? Here's a pipe right here. This is uh, one of my pipes that, that I keep. This is a this is a Devil Ants uh, right here, and it's one of my own. Um, that I made and I've kept, but there's the stamping that I do on mine. But uh, right under there, I would put, I would, you know, lengthen the smooth part of it and put your initials on there. Limit three initials, like my initials are JSC. I would put that or just JC, just, you know, if you want to, that'd be fine. But you gotta make sure you let me know you want that. Otherwise it'll come out like that one. So, what else is happening around the world? You know, I play a lot of golf. I don't know if there are any golfers out there or not. Uh, I do I'm trying to adjust the camera now a little bit so I can lay back. Um, I don't know if there are any golfers out there. If there are, have you ever played golf while you know you have you smoke about like? Like, for example, when I play golf, you, a lot of times I usually like to have a cigar. And I've often thought maybe maybe I need I, I ought to take a pipe out there. Years ago, you'd see pictures of Bing Crosby and that bunch, and they would be smoking their pipes out on the golf course. And I thought, well, maybe maybe I need to bring that back. And start doing that. Okay, yeah. Cornell, Cornell, Cornell and Deal makes Blue Ridge. Okay, cool. I never really asked them that. I just tried it one day and really liked it. And it's been my favorite ever since. Got a nice, smooth, clean taste. Try to bowl a... Uh, Davidoff royalty tonight, old man. Is that delish? Good English. I will, uh, I will smoke English from time to time. I would love a Joe Case pipe soon. I would use it as my logo on my channel. Oh, cool. Well, now's the time to order, brother. 30% off right now for a few more days. Yes, it's a good all-day smoke. Yeah. Yeah, my uh, my up to my uh, blue, <coughs> excuse me, Blue Ridge. You've been watching good. My uh, the Blue Ridge, is something I can smoke all day. No doubt. It doesn't have uh, a tongue bite or anything. I do not like um, flavored tobaccos. Just not into that. Um, Virginia's Virginia Blend, which Uptown's, uh, which the Blue Ridge is, is my favorite. And then I, I do some English. It's good for breaking in pipes, also. Is it? Very cool. What's your go-to all-day smoke? I just said probably while you were typing, uh, up, Uptown's uh, Blue Ridge, which I just found out. Somebody said it's made by Cornell and Deal. If you're talking about tobacco, if you're talking about pipes, I've just got a couple of pipes. I just showed you uh, 
my devil ants there and uh i have a couple other uh most and, and and all these that i keep for myself by the way are all seconds uh when i say seconds I all had something defective that i said you know i can't leave that one out or keep it out or or, or whatever um so anyway i'm not <laughs> I never, I never keep a perfect pipe of my own that I've made for myself. They all go out. But my favorite Joe Case pipe, do you mean uh, my favorite Joe Case pipe that I've made or the favorite one that's, that I offer out there or If it's one that I've made, okay, uh, probably it's um, uh, the, uh, the the new generation Mad Hatter. I really like it. You look look that up on the on the website, my website, JoeCasePipes.com, and uh, it's pretty good. The original Mad Hatter was actually given to me by uh, the design was given to me by a customer to make for him, and he. He said, ah, this is kind of a, he drew it out for me and said, this is kind of a Mad Hatter style or whatever. And uh, so I made it and I, I called it the Mad Hatter and have sold a bunch of those over the years. And I decided to uh, make one that is probably a, a little bit closer looking to a top hat design. So if you look up the new generation or the second generation, whatever I called it, <clears throat> Mad Hatter, uh, you'll see it. I love the, where I do the hat band on it. And... I also like one pretty close to that, uh, I call the dinosaur egg, where I do, it looks like a cracked top on, on top of it. Um, and it's, you know, kind of an egg shape. And it has, uh, I add some, some kind of exotic wood to it, whether it's snake wood or something like that on it. Dagner Slayer Poker, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's definitely one of my top favorites as well. Everybody, I guess a lot of people know the story behind that one. Jason Dagner started out as a customer and uh, he too drew up the design of the original. Matter of, matter of fact, I've got up here. Uh, he drew out the design of an original. Wow, it looks awesome. I love pokers. Can you do different colors? Yeah, sure. Absolutely, we can do different colors on it. Uh, uh, Dagner, Jason Dagner, uh, drew out a design of a pipe. He said, do this one and we're going to call it, the, can, can, can we call it the Slayer? Poker. And I said, well, you even put your name on it. I call it the Dagner Slayer Poker. And this is the original design of that one, the Dagner Slayer Poker. And this one, this particular one you're looking at here is something we did uh, a year or so ago uh, as some production pipes through his company where he does, you know, Dagner, Dagner pipes. Um, but we did it as a, uh, as a combo effort here. And you can see the the logo on the bottom of it. You can see Dagner Pipes and you can see my logo, uh, which is right there on it as well. And uh, we did this uh, together to bring back, uh, I'll have to have that poker one day, cool. Uh, I, and, and I can make them like this, very similar to this, but, but the Dagner Slayer poker that's offered now is is uh, it, it kind of evolved into that a little bit, a little bit beefier look, but it still has that really beaten up rustic uh, uh, feel to it. This one has more of an hourglass shape to it, which if you order the, the Dagner Slayer poker and say, hey, I, I like that more of an hourglass look to it. Can you do that? Sure, sure, we can certainly do that, but it'll metal band. This one has a, the, the smooth metal band I have other bands that have a little more uh, style to them, if you will, and uh, smooth wood, uh, smooth briar here in between the bowl and the metal band. And then this one has just a, a basic red. The um, uh, the ones I, that I do, and I don't have any, uh, the acrylic 
is stored down here below, right below the camera stand here, so I can't can't get into it right now. But it's a it's a red and black, uh, gray and white all swirl uh, that I use on the Dagner Slayer poker. So uh, yeah, anything else happening out there? Any other questions that you have? Got a couple of minutes I can stay on here. So far we've had Malta, British Columbia, Liverpool, all these watching around the country, Florida. I know, real, real quickly, everybody who's watching right this minute, put on the, even if you've told me before, go ahead and put in there again, where are you watching from? Just put, put, the, put the name of the city, state, country, whatever. Just put it, hey, just put, it, put in there where you're watching. How long have you been making pipes? Since uh, 2011. Okay, there's Malta. Where are you watching from? Everybody who's watching, just type in where are you watching from. Luxembourg, that's right, Luxembourg. There's Liverpool. New York, <laughs> effing city. <laughs> England. Must be, must be evening over there in England. Luxembourg. I have one question, Seven LA better or Peterson? Mm. If you're looking at, at, at a production pipe like that, um, gosh, I, I, I'd probably, I'd probably go with Seven Ellie. Yeah, Icelandic Piper said Sav. Yeah, Houston, Texas. Where are the golf tournaments going on down there this week? And people, God bless them, are still getting over Hurricane Harvey from a while back. Terrible de devastation. Hopefully that golf tournament being down there will uh, help raise some funds. Lee Acres, Florida, 80s out there, huh? 60s here in Nashville today. You're a new smoker? Great. Welcome to the relaxed world of pipe smokers. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to, I really appreciate you watching when you were watching live or if you're watching later. You can still leave comments of where you're watching from. Even if you're watching uh, later. Savinelli versus Stanwell. I'd go with Stanwell on that one. Uh, raining now, expecting flooding again. Yeah, we're expecting flooding here in Nashville uh, later tonight and tomorrow. So are you judged as a Christian for your pipe smoking? No, actually not. Well, I mean, anybody can judge anybody about anything, but most of my true Christian friends... Uh, yeah, I mean, I spoke in a in a in a church um, a week or so ago where uh, you know the pastor there who asked me to to speak, you know, said, "Hey, you still making pipes?" You know, so you know. But then there's there there are people who will judge. You know, some people will judge me for wearing an orange checked shirt. Uh, it's people in the world, and you just got to let it go off. I know my personal relationship with my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is there. So, youth pastor, you get judged all the time. Yeah, man, I, I know it, it can, you know, I, I don't, I'm, you know, you're not flagrant about it. Uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll take a, a drink of wine from time to time. I'm not, I'm not into, you know, the strong mixed drinks and all that stuff, and I'm not into beer. Either I've just I never acquired the taste for it, but I'm not going to judge anybody for doing it. 
Uh, it's, it's not the drink. It's, we're not supposed to get drunk. Seven Elliot or Sir Jacopo? Ooh. Probably Sir Jacopo. Oh, message retracted. <laughs> so, anyway, well, thanks so much for uh, joining me. Don't forget the Briarville pipes um, are available at briarville.com. Go check them out there, and the story behind them is there. You'll, you'll see what that's all about. Um... Does a picture exist with uh, Charles? Yeah, exactly. Charles Spurgeon had a Spurgeon had a uh, he was a he was a cigar smoker. So you know whether or not I smoke a cigar or smoke a pipe or whatever, uh, you know, is not going to affect that. God bless you too. God bless all of you. I really appreciate uh, you guys watching. Appreciate your business. Uh, please check it out. And if I could do a pipe for you, I'd be certainly honored. Joe Case Pipes dot com so good to see all of you and i haven't been on youtube as much uh, as i have uh, was in the past and i need to need to stay on here talk to you guys you guys are great i appreciate it uh god bless you all and we will catch you next time on whatever format we're going to be on live or recorded or whatever <laughs>